What's up? This is Jesse. Hi, my name is Adam D. We're in the band Kill Switch Engage. And you're watching Chaos TV. It's chaos! So chaotic. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are here uh, in the bus of Killswitch Engage with Adam and Jesse from the band. So first of hello and welcome to Chaos TV. What's up, Chaos? Hi, thank you. <laughs> so you just took a ferry from Stockholm to Helsinki, so how was the ferry trip, aka Barty Boat? Yeah, it was uh, like being in a weird movie uh, with a lot of old people and uh, lots of booze and disco music. I just went to the buffet and drank for an hour straight <laughs> he dr- he until only, they closed down. Yeah, he only went to the buffet because the price included beer. So the moment he heard about that, he went straight for it. Yeah. <laughs> so what and was then, the result? Uh, two, a two-hour nap. Yeah. And then I woke up and I couldn't sleep. Ugh. Yeah, it was it was a mess. The, the boat the boat smelled so funny. Yeah, it was weird. It just smells like secrets. But it's good. <laughs> It's good. Dirty secrets. Yeah, the dirtiest. <laughs> so, uh, Adam has beer uh, has been here a few times before as well with Kill Switch. So, what kind of memories do you have from the shows in Finland? Uh, very friendly people. Very friendly people. Excited. Um, it's really pretty here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So you guys have a new CD out called uh, Disar- Disarm the Descent and it uh, immediately went on top 10 in the billboard charts. So congratulations for both of you about that achievement. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. So uh, how do you usually take those like chart positions? Do they actually mean anything to you generally? It's nice to you know, be recognized for you know a, a being a success, I guess. Um, but I think the thing I concern myself most with is uh, making the fans happy and playing you know the shows and seeing people react and have you know the fans just energized and excited. So um, you know all the industry stuff. It's it is what it is. You know, I don't try to look into it too much. So what has been the fans' reactions when you have played the new material live? It's been great, man. People sing along, going crazy. It's been fun. It's been great to see that uh, people are really digging the new record so far. Uh, the re- the reviews which I read have been like generally really positive. So do you guys read reviews yourself or do you try to avoid them as much as you can? Yeah, try to avoid any of that stuff. I don't even go on the internet. Yeah, it's I think it uh, it can either it won't do one of two things. It can crush you and bum you out and make you insecure, or it can inflate your ego and make you think you're awesome. And neither of those things are any good. Yeah, for anybody. <laughs> Never. Stay balanced. You know, I think if you believe in yourself, you're happy with what you're doing. That's what matters. So, have you ever like read a review and got like totally pissed about the whole text? Uh, I have. Yeah, I have. It's. Uh, it is what it is, though. People have, of course, have the uh, right to say what they want. So you know, you can't really get upset about it. Did you guys have any personal expectations when the CD got out? Did you usually do you usually expect anything when you release the new CD? I think expectations are dangerous. You know, you hope that people like what you're doing for sure, but <clears throat> to expect it, I just don't think that's a, a positive thing. Yeah, it's you, more it's more so just a hope thing. You hope people like it. Yeah. Don't set yourself up for disappointment. You know, by having expectations. So uh, I watched from YouTube like the lyric video for the latest single, and there were like a lot of like there are the, like, those like featured videos which can be found, and there were actually two of the videos which are comparing like you to Howard, like singing and screaming. So what do you guys think about that whole subject? That there are actually like thousands of videos about like different songs how do you sing them and how does howard sing them and people have too much time on their hands yeah, they wow have, they have <laughs> to me it's it's uh, i mean it is what it is people are always going to have an opinion you know uh, but i don't think that it's something i concern myself with i think of nothing else i think it's a waste of energy a waste of yeah. time mm-hmm. you know if you like my voice listen to what i do you like howard's listen to what he does you know and give respect to both of us i think that it's just disrespectful respectful you know for anyone to criticize either one of us like i can't stand it but uh, it is what it is it's gonna happen people are going to continue to be like that yeah, yeah no 
I guess it has been going on forever. Yeah. Basically, they have always been comparing you. It is what it is. Some people like vanilla ice cream. Some people like chocolate ice cream. Good analogy. My lord. Goes, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So when you when you when you started the vocalist search after Howard left, how many options did you have? Or was it like the first option was to choose Jesse, and then if Jesse says no, then d- decide? We had a long list of people that we wanted to try out, and we didn't. He was on that list. We didn't jump uh, to conclusions with Jesse at all. Uh, we just wanted to make sure we took advantage of that opportunity here. Everybody who was uh, a possible tryout, and you know, he made the most sense at the end of the day. Mm. So you you already had a band together, Times of Grace. So what was was that like an e- easier like way for you guys to ask him to rejoin the band? Basically, because you had a, already a project together. No, not at all. Um, if anything, it kind of <clears throat> let us know since we did a bunch of tours. It kind of let us know that uh, Jesse was capable of touring um, and road ready, and you know he did all the right things to take care of his voice once again and yeah and i think the the fact that he and i have always been you know good friends it was just uh another part of him getting the job and let us just we kind of knew what to expect you know so when when jesse left the band uh, how long did it take for you to become friends again or were you friends like immediately after the split yeah nothing changed nothing yeah. changed yeah i was just mad at him for leaving the band via email yeah <laughs> Yeah, hey guys, that's what, that's I, what I read from Wikipedia. Yeah. But you can't trust Wikipedia. Yeah. No, everything on, everything you read online is correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah, that's what I've learned. Yeah, from yeah. These guys are very gracious. Um, we had to do an interview after I had left. Uh, after I'd quit the band, um, and Roadrunner reached out and said, "You got to do this one interview for MTV. It's really important for the band." So we all met up in New York, and uh, it was. Uh, pretty strange. pretty awkward yeah pretty awkward um mike actually mike was wore, really mad yeah mike didn't talk to me the whole day wore sunglasses but joel and adam came right up to me and put their arms around me like are you okay how you doing take care of yourself we love you like immediately so okay so it was it was not that yeah. bad after all but i was in i was in rough shape here i was messed up in the head so I had to i'm go, not a hateful person i had to go I don't wanna, myself i don't want to hate anybody <laughs> You're just full of love. Yeah, yeah. and beer. a big teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Adam, you have a, also a project coming up with George from Cannibal Corp. So how far is that project at the moment? Uh, well, we've got uh, a bunch of songs written, and I will be tracking drums with uh, Shannon, the ex-drummer from Black Dahlia yeah. Murder, uh, probably in July. And then um believe Cannibal is... Uh, slowing down their touring sometime around September, so hopefully that's when uh, George and I will start getting together on some of the vocal parts. Yeah. Okay, so it will be out sometime oh, next this, year, not, or no, not this year. Yeah. So what kind of material can we expect to hear? Is it going to be like a death melodic death metal project, pretty, or pretty much? Yeah, I just tried to write the fastest music I could. Okay. <laughs> so challenging yourself, challenging myself, absolutely. So a lot of the stuff's just really hard to play for me. So. So how did you end up having George oh, into the band? A, we did a Mayhem tour uh, with Cannibal uh, one year, and uh, he's always been one of my favorite singers. And I just, you know, we became. He's good, but he's nuts. Oh, he's awesome! And um, and, you know, he's a, and he's a good guy. Yeah, we just started hanging guy. out, and I just asked him. We were drinking, and I was like, "Hey, man, if I wrote a record for you, would you sing on it?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, man!" So there you go. So that was easy. Yeah. I guess it's pretty hard to both find the schedule time wisely to do it. I'm so busy and he's so busy. So, you know, we'll see. So, what is the situation with your project Times of Grace? Will will the first CD be the last CD or do you plan to continue it at some point maybe? Yeah, we hope so. You know it's funny. I um I was so bored last night. I was comparing like mixes I've done um And I listened to a song off that record, and that, that makes me want to write more music. There so, you go. Maybe. So there will be a new CD. I hope sometime. You know, not anytime soon. Yeah. No, we're we're both very interested in doing more and yeah. expanding that sound as well, and doing yeah. different things with it. Yeah, and I guess you have more freedom in that band to do whatever you want exactly. than than in Killswitch because it's. 
kill switch is at, at least somehow narrowed down what you can do with it. Yeah. And they expect certain kind yeah. of material. And I think if it's not broken, don't fix it, you know. But with times of grace, we can do whatever we want. Yep. We're going to. Okay. So, uh, what are like your least favorite kill switch engaged tracks that you wouldn't like to play live? Even even somebody pays you to play them. Are there like some certain tracks? Probably the ones that we already don't play. <laughs> no, but are there like some specific songs that you don't like? Uh, there's probably a long list to be honest with you, but I just don't think about it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I like what I'm singing right now. It's great. <laughs> but not any of the old songs, for example, from Alive or Just Breathing. Is there like certain songs that you wouldn't like to play? No, no, those songs are fine with me. You know, it's funny. I I base everything off of the crowd reaction. So if it's if we're playing a song that bores the crowd, that would be a song I wouldn't want to play. We have some of those. We definitely do. So I I watched the video interview where where you said that Adam is the most party animal in the band. <laughs> but. <laughs> You you had a comparison. There were like both of the guys, and Joel said that it's Adam that is the most party animal yeah, in mean, the band. Joel, Joel parties, but he does it a little more mellow. Where Adam when he gets gets uh, in party mode, he gets really loud. Very very like any, I like to have a good time. Any loud. I like to have a good time all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, if you guys would arm wrestle together, who would win and why? <laughs> I have the arms of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, but we would never arm wrestle because we're not macho dorks. I'm not a man. <laughs> do, do you lift weights uh, while you're on tour? Actually, yes. Yeah. Okay. We were because uh, I I was chatting with SLA Dying's yeah. teams about oh, his and he is doing a lot. Yeah. Those guys are like Conan. Barbarian. I don't even yeah, nowadays. I don't are. even recognize him anymore. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. No, we stay fit, but we're not fitness buffs. I mean, yeah. we, I think if anything else, more about cardiovascular, keeping yeah, yourself yeah. healthy for stage, yeah. so we yeah. can move around and do yeah. what yeah. we want to do. But yeah, just uh, just once you get to a certain age, kids, you got to start doing something. Yeah. So uh, as a last question, what kind of plans do you guys have for the summer? Do you have any finish shows lined up? Lots of shows. Yeah. Are we coming back to Finland? I yeah, think we are. Are we? Yeah. I don't know. But I, you have a show in Sweden at least, yeah. but I'm not sure if you I have in Finland. It's been um, talked about yet, so I don't know if we can mention it. But we are touring with uh, yeah. the band on your hat as I lie dying in the, in the U.S. Okay. We're taking them out for a, for a tour, so that'll be fun. Okay, but thank you really much for both of you guys for doing this interview with us and good luck for tonight's show. Uh, anything you want to say as a closure to your Finnish fans, you can hold the mic. Hold the mic. Hold it. Represent. Well, uh, thank you to all of our fans for supporting this band for all the years through and through. Um, we can't make the music we love making without people supporting it. So thank you yeah thank you for for accepting me back and uh supporting this band and buying a new record it's been amazing thank you so much we can't do this without you guys cheers